Hello everybody, this is Piteio from Vale of the Ages and today I am blessed again to have uh, our special guest, Inako. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Hello Inako. So we uh, thought that today we would do um, a slightly different type of match that will uh, introduce you to how the proper big game of the Ninth Age is usually played, uh, meaning with more than only one warrior versus one warrior. So usually what you have is an army that you are controlling, which is composed of several warriors, and all of them are fighting against all of the opponent's um, warriors in the opponent's army. Now this means that your attention is divided between what your individual warriors can do, and at the same time there's a lot of complexity because all of your warriors are fighting against all of the warriors of the opponent. So that's a, that's a tough uh, trick to master and so we thought that today we could do um, something which is halfway between the way we've played so far and this uh, arrangement and notably we thought that we would have two matches going on at the same time with one warrior versus one warrior and there would be one match but at the same time we would play another match with warrior B versus warrior B and in this way, the two, match, the two matches are separated, so my warrior A cannot attack your warrior B and so on. But at least you will get used to keeping into consideration two different matches at the same time. So split attention without the extra complexity. Now, notably, uh, how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, we're going to choose two warriors for you. So, do you have two favorite warriors? So, in the previous video, I was Komoto, so mm -hmm. I think I will go with Jiro. Alright. Because I know him well. Very well. Let's put it over here. And who's gonna be your second warrior? I think I'll go with Hambi. Oh, Hambi, protector of the woods. We like Hambi. This is a sculpt by Johan. Hello, Hi. Johan. <laughs> we are fans of Johan. Nice. Representing the people of the forest. Alright, so who am I gonna play with then in this case? Well, I think I will um, take the other miniatures that you will find in the uh, Breach set. Notably Kamorko and Misty. The orc and the demon. Very well. So I'm just copying the cards over here, so that when I go back to the uh, uh, to the arena top view, we can have everything over here. And now we can roll a die to see who's gonna place their warriors first. I make a five. Five. <laughs> Roll again, she's not gonna let me have it. And five. a five. <laughs> okay, three fives out of the way. And a two. Okay, good, fine, it's okay. So that means that you get to position your elf and your dryad any way you want. You should try and keep them nicely separated mm -hmm. so that we don't get confused. Okay. But apart from that, the decision is yours. Yeah. Okay. There. Very nice. Just gonna make sure that they are facing in the right direction. This is the case for Chiro. And what about Hanbi? Ah, no. Maybe we want to rotate Hanbi like so. Good. Do I have room to place myself 24 inches away? Yes, I do. Good. So let's say I will use Misty versus Chiro. So let's put our demon down here. Is how come you decided on that yourself? 
There's no cheating here. Uh, um, I don't know. It's just because it happened. With I'm gonna roll a die with one, two, and three. Misty is gonna go versus Chiro, mm -hmm. and with four, five, six, it's gonna be Kamar. Mm -hmm. Oh, but Hamdi can't shoot. Hamdi right? doesn't have any shooting weapon. Yes. And Misty is good at shooting. And Misty is good at shooting. So Misty should be with Chiro. No. You see, I was I was being nice. <laughs> I was being nice. You can keep it like this. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing the rules is always an advantage because it allows you to do that. Okay. Good. So we'll keep Misty versus Chiro, 24 inches away, and then I will take Kamorko, rotate the dude, and see whether we are 24 inches away. Yeah, we're fine. 24 and something. All right. So we have my orc and my demon, and we have your dryad and your elf. Okay. And now you decide whether you want to go first or whether you want me to go first with both warriors, just to keep things easy. You can go first. That's very nice of you. Okay, I'll do that. So I'm going to place a card here for uh, Misty and I'm going to place a card here for Camorco. And as we've said, Kamorko is playing versus Hamdi and Misty is playing versus Chiro. Alright, so now what we do is we play uh, a round, um, uh, a turn for me with Kamorko and then a turn for you with Hamdi. And then we play a turn for me with Misty and a turn for, with you for Siren, Chiro. And then we go back and play the second turns here and then the second turns here. And so on and so forth, up to six. Okay. Good? Mm. Ready? That <laughs> <laughs> was challenging. <laughs> this is not going to be a friendly match. All right, very well. So we still have our table for what happens in here. Um, you might remember it from the last video. I'll, I'll probably not going to be, not gonna be um, uh, using it too much. I might. You might, that's good. That's going to be a good reminder for the, uh, for the viewers. Um, in general, I'm thinking Hamby is quite good in combat, but is um, carrying no shooting weapon. So probably I'll just hold and shoot in this first turn and I will let Hamby come to me. So what does that mean? It means I am shooting with an aim of 4+. plus. My range is 30, we are 24 away, so I have a plus one for the long distance because it's beyond uh, 15. So I roll one and I'm looking for a five plus. Woohoo, it's a six. So now I have to wound. In order to wound, I look at the strength of the crossbow, which is four, versus the resilience from Hamby, which is four. So four minus four is zero, wounding means 4 plus. Correct. <gasps> what is this? The dice is on your side. You know, you were, you were, th you were thinking <laughs> that it was a complex arrangement to have them. So if, if I just win the first round, then uh, it's going to be easy again. <laughs> <laughs> you still get a chance to save yourself because you have uh, an armor of 2. Now, normally, you might remember that we do armor minus armor penetration and Kamorko's crossbow has a penetration of one. But um, in this case, we have an asterisk next to uh, Hanbi's armor that says that um, her armor is not affected by the attack's armor penetration. So we don't do two minus one, we just do two. two. And armor two from the tables here means that you save yourself the five plus yeah indeed you can make it show us it's just a four that was, that was close, oh, <laughs> that, was close. Uh, that was close Whoa. poor Hamby look at her it's like she was all ready for oh. combat and everything but in reality pew oh. bye <laughs> <laughs> didn't even have a go. 
Nope. That's what you get when you fight against Kamorko, you know? Ooh. That's, uh, I'm sorry, anticlimactic. But this is what happens when you play games. Like, you know, we are rolling dice, so, yeah. We're gonna put Hambi head down. So what happens to Kamorko? So now Kamorko will try to, in the next turns, to move away from your warrior, because in case you kill Misty, then we might have a final battle between mm -hmm. these two. Mm -hmm. If Misty kills the elf, then no need. All right, sorry, Hambi. We now move to the uh, second fight, and I'm also starting first with Misty. And I am thinking that for as much as I would like to shoot you, you are quite the good shooter. And I am quite close to this field here. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe I will try and move so that I still have a chance to, to uh, get you. But next turn, I will be in the field. All right? Huh? Looks like a good arrangement. Yep. So now that I moved maximum 5 inches and I'm within 20 inches from you, 21 I would say, uh, my aim is 4, plus 1, 5 because I moved, plus 1, 6 because I'm past 12 inches. So I only hit you with a 6. Come on! Hmm. I would have been too nice. <laughs> All right, your turn, Uchiro. So, 21 inches apart. Mm -hmm. And I have a range of 24. So, and I'm good at shooting. Mm. Well, you're also quite better than I am in combat. You have offense 4 and strength 3 mm -hmm. and agility 6. I have offense to strength to agility three, but I have very good armor, though. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a difficult match in general. I think I will try to shoot. Okay. I'll have a plus one modifier. Because of range. Because of the range, but Chiro's aim of value is three plus, so mm. it's not that high. So yeah. that would be a four plus. Mm. You're not in cover. Yeah. So there's no other modifier. There's no other modifier. I, I can shoot you with a four plus. Yeah. And I get two shots. Yeah. No, it's a it's a it's a good it's a good way to do that. I think that from next turn I will be in cover, so it's best to use your shooting attacks now. So you can roll two dice, and we're looking at four plus. A five and a three. Mm. All right. So you're now only gonna roll oh, one, one okay. two wounds, and two wounds you'll have to check my resilience, which is three, and the strength of your bow, which is also three. So. Three minus three is zero. Four plus. Four plus the wound, yes, with the one that I that hit. <gasps> no! <laughs> All right. Boo. <laughs> Not a very lucky first turn for you. Yes. Uh, sorry, sorry to hear that. So we go back to the fight between Kamorko and Hambi, which is essentially Kamorko on his own. And, uh, you know, I'm essentially just going to move away from Chiro in case Chiro wins the next fight. My march movement is eight. So going away from you means going in this direction. So I'm going to move up here. And, you know, I'm going to be ready when the time comes. Rrrr. Angry fists. That's a very orcish pose. Behind elevation. <laughs> Behind the elevation. I mean, I mean, if, if you stay here, I will eventually <laughs> get over there. So I'm not, I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you. Ah. So we now go to turn two for Misty and, and Chiro and my aim was to try and get in cover mm -hmm. and I can do that, see? My new position is entirely within the uh, the five inches of movement 
But now this means that I am that I am getting some protection from your shooting from this field, mm. which was also made by your, by the way. This is a, a doormat. A doormat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it is a doormat. I, I had it over there in yeah. one of those boxes. It's just a doormat that has been put on a base and then decorated with some mm. extra uh, moss, I think. Do you like Johan? <laughs> Johan is one of the greatest assets of this game. So let's see. Now I am 18 inches away from you mm -hmm. because it was 21. I advanced by five, but in diagonal, so I lost one. 18 inches it means that I'm still shooting at long distance because range 24 means that the short range distance is up to 12. Mm -hmm. So four plus plus one for long distance five plus one for moving six. Again, I'm only hitting you on a six. Come on. You can't. Come on. Ah. <laughs> so, so close. So close. Okay. So now we move the turn to you. Mm. And um, I can pour some tea. So 18 inches away. So if I want to shoot, mm -hmm. I'll get a modifier. Yeah. And you're in cover, so I'll get a modifier by default. Yeah, another one on top of that. Yeah. So that would make it a five plus. Yeah. For just for shooting. Yeah. And if I decide to advance and shoot, that would be a six. It would be a six. It would be a six because if you are eighteen inches away, you can advance by five, and it's still gonna oh. be thirteen. Okay. Oh. And I'm 24. Yeah, so you need so a 12. That was a, that was a nasty position. If I had put myself at 17, ploy. it's a ploy. <laughs> it's a ploy. It's always a ploy. So, I would rather hold mm -hmm. and shoot. Just shoot. Okay, just hold and shoot. Two dice, five plus. Because I only need just a five plus. Mm. And, but if I move, I'll, I'll need a six. Right? Yeah. So it's yeah. better to shoot. <laughs> it, 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 from from the point of view of shooting, it's definitely better not to have the uh, the modifier. That also means ah, okay. that I you won't be charging right. me anytime right. soon. Okay, so it's it's choosing the easy way now. Yeah. The best way now, yeah. or investing. Yeah. I think I will invest then. All right. <laughs> Change of plot. All right. I can. So if I want to march, I can. Do ten. You can do 10. 10. 10 is a lot. If you put the mouse over Chiro, I can show you the line of sight and you can see up to where you can go. Mm. You can go fairly close to me. But then it'll be easier for you to shoot. It's going to be easier for me to shoot. I only have one shot. Mm. It might be uh, the, one, the one I need. But yeah. yeah. I think I'll advance and shoot. Advance and shoot. Halfway. And modifier. Halfway between the two. Okay. So I can uh, copy an, an elf for you. You can position Shiro whatever you want within the. Oh, no, no, it's perfectly fine. So within the small circle, okay. you can take that one and position it anywhere you want. Yeah. No, that's out of the one. Yeah. I can also magnify and see, yeah, this looks good. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Good. So we can now delete this one. And so now you should be 13 inches away, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, 13. 13. Indeed. Yeah. So now Shiro has advanced and is looking at the demon. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can feel the tension. All right, let's go back to the other mode so we don't so, pick up so much. So what did I do? I advanced by five. Plus one. You um, are at thirteen. So that's above my half range. Mm -hmm. So plus one. And you're in cover. So plus one. And yeah. I need a six. Yeah, from three plus to six plus. But I can roll twice. Twice. Yeah, two dice, two shots. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Yay. 
That's a six. Ouch. Okay, Ouch. So I can roll again to see if I have wounded you. Yeah, only with the one die that that uh, that did hit. So now what I'm. Do I, what do I need? You are strength three with a bow, and I am resilience three. So zero. Yeah. So I need a four plus. Yeah. So just a small mnemonics thing. When you have a zero for wounding, meaning that you have the same strength and the same resilience, or where you have a zero for hitting because you have the same uh, offense and the same defense, it's four plus. Because four plus means one, two, three are a failure, four, five, six are success. It's 50%. Mm. So when the, when the characteristics are equal, it's a four plus. Capish. All right, I rest my case. Show me if you can do this 4+. plus. <sighs> nah, I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm not worried. I was a bit worried. <laughs> I was a tiny uh -huh. little bit worried. Okay. Mm. So now it's the third turn. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> we resurrected the Humby. Get back. He's yeah. back. <laughs> I think Humby is a she. I don't know why I decided Humby would be a she. Does she look like a she? Like a he looks like a it. <laughs> Not sure. Yeah, there's this mantis thing. Maybe mm -hmm. that's why it's a she. I don't know. So maybe I will try and get further away from you. But what is further away from you? This is further away from you, I suppose. I should go in that direction, I guess. So let's see. What is eight inches away from me? Oh my god! I'm fire. <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was an old game that I used to play where you could not measure everything, you just have to do it with your eyes. Mm -hmm. And I had a friend who was amazing at estimating distances. Ah, oh, nice. The friend who was amazing at estimating distances. Good. So that was my third turn. Now which we come on. Now it's my third turn with Misty. So we said that I'm 13 inches away from you and my movement, my range is 24. So I'm going to be a long distance. I'm going to get a uh, minus one. If I advance, I'm going to, if I advance by one inch, I'm not going to get the, uh, the long distance modifier, but I'm going to get the advance modifier. Mm. So it doesn't really make sense for me. I'm already in cover, so that's already a good position for me. And um, probably the wise thing to do is just to stay put and shoot. Just be boring. But it's wise. So sometimes. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Four plus, plus one for the long distance. Five plus. It's not an easy shot. Ooh. But I make it. But I make it. Uh, but you don't know if you have wounded me. Uh, but this one is going to be easy because the energy bolts are strength 5. <laughs> right? It only has one shot compared to Shiro who has 2. It has aim 4 compared to Shiro who has a better aim of 3. He's able to withstand more modifiers. But at least I have strength 5 and you have strength 3. Strength 5 versus resilience 3. And that means that strength minus resilience is higher than one. <gasps> Too fast! <Aww. laughs> it's a very easy, it's a very easy wound roll. That's, that's what Misty does best. Aww. So that's why, for example, you spent the first turn shooting and the second turn advancing and shooting. You never marched. So I got three turns to shoot you. Good and memory. You know, uh, it would have been worse if the match with Kamarko would have been ongoing, but no. But yeah, so the point is that it is going to happen, so it does make sense at some point to rush towards your opponent. But I can still save myself. And I still haven't rolled this die. I could, I could roll a one. I could, roll, I could totally roll a one. Come on, show me. It's a six. Got you in the heart. But I as you said, myself. yeah, you have a you have an armor. Your armor is one minus the armor penetration of my attack, and the armor penetration of my attack is zero. Mm -hmm. That at least. So that means armor one, 
Six. I need to roll a six. Yeah. The the armor of the elf is not the best armor on the planet. He does look yeah. exposed. Yeah, right? It's uh as a wearing a nice gown, but yeah. So I made a six, you can oh. make a six, right? <laughs> the space. <laughs> So close. Ah, this was close. This was close, but crucially, not close enough. So the poor elf. Can I manage to have both? Yeah, like that. And so I'm shooting with the energy bolts. This is an energy bolt. Bam! <laughs> we lost Shira somewhere. How can Where I improve you, my dicing skill? Yes. Well, we have a we have a saying in in Italy, and it says that uh, if you are unlucky with dice, then you are lucky in love relationship. <laughs> so you know, you can decide to see the 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 teacup half full. But yeah, so that was the <laughs> that was the the plan for a mixed match. We lost the was first. It, was it a mixed match? <laughs> we lost it in the first round. It's basically, uh, just a one match. Yeah. But you know, we were distracted by moving the, the orc every, every mm. now and then, here and yeah. there, so it's okay. I think that now we are ready for the next match, which is the one that's it's the, the final level of complexity that you can play. Mm. The one where I would have, for example, Misty and Camorco, and I would play with them together against your two gladiators. Mm. So you will have to defend yourself, not only from, uh, oh look, I'm busy. You have to um, position yourself not only in a way that maybe you can charge my weak character in combat, but also trying to avoid being charged by, by my combat mm. character. Mm. And at this level, the game becomes really fun. Mm. So, that's but this way it was really nice because I thought at first that it was going to be a bit confusing because mm. I'm a novice player. I've only played. Three matches, yeah, two yeah. or three matches, yeah. but it was really nice because I could see the four cards at the same time and learn the yeah. characteristics of the four characters. Yeah, and and sometimes you know it's uh, it's also good that you move your attention to something else and then you go back to where you were and you see things mm -hmm. in a more absorbed way. But yeah, good. So I hope we'll have the chance to record the final match with the. Uh, not not the double fight, but the team fight. So, uh, two versus two. Mm. All right. Thank you for the game. <laughs> <laughs> She's not happy. Uh, it's going to be a bad evening here. Bye, guys. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>